Will you please give a round of applause for Kim Cofino? these social networks? You use them? How many social network stars do you know? People who have become famous in these spaces. If you're anything like me, it might be none. That was until about two years ago, when I happened to be back at home in the summer. My husband and I were at our local mall, Danbury Fair Mall, and uh, we went into the mall and it was packed with girls screaming, leaning over the balconies, running around, so excited. And in my head, I thought, what, is Debbie Gibson here? <laughs> no. Turns out it was Bethany Mota, a YouTube star who talks about fashion, who has, as of yesterday, about nine and a half million followers. So when I looked her up, I thought, oh, there's something kind of interesting here. How does this girl have nine and a half million followers? So I looked a little closer, and I started kind of finding out a little bit more about these social media stars. I learned about Zach King, who has 3.6 million followers on Vine. I learned about Jerome Jarre, who has 8.5 million followers on Vine. He's also super famous on Snapchat. Um, I learned about Michelle Phan, who has over 8 million subscribers on YouTube, and even seven-year-old Evan, two million followers on YouTube. I thought, they must be doing something right. They must be doing something interesting. So I started watching some of these videos, and I realized, as I was looking closer, as I was investigating these YouTube channels, that these guys are learning a lot, and they're demonstrating their learning in great new ways. In fact, they're learning so much stuff, I couldn't even fit it all on one slide. And when I started thinking about these things that they're learning, these key words about empathy and relating to your audience and being confident and charismatic and being tenacious and persistent, I realized that a lot of those skills actually match up perfectly with the research from the Institute for the Future about our future work skills needed for 2020. So it seems kind of silly to talk about a girl who makes makeup videos in a context as academic as this one, but it's not about the content. It's about the community that they're building. Some research done by the University of Southern California and their marketing division found out that actually among adults and teens, YouTube stars are more influential than traditional Hollywood stars like Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio. Because they're not just consuming, they're creating. And they're learning the skills we need them to know. They're doing it in the spaces they want to be. And they actually already have all the tools, our kids already have all the tools they need to be successful in this environment. All they need is an internet connection and a laptop. What we need to do is empower them and value these spaces to allow them to demonstrate their learning in the spaces they want to be so that they can build their audience. But intentionally or unintentionally, we're building a wall between their world and ours. And it's our job to guide them as educators to find issues that matter, meaningful and important issues to become passionate about, to share with others. I think we need to kind of blend together and remix their passions and our passions so our students can find their audience. I've got one more story. This is uh, Zach King, the Vine star that I mentioned before. I'm going to show you a quick Vine of Zach's. Oh, this is our stuff, dude. Come on, come on, dude. So I think Zach is pretty cool. I think he's pretty cool because his friends were telling him about Vine. Come on, Zach, you got to get on Vine, you got to get on Vine. He said, I don't know what Vine is, I don't care. And then one day he woke up and said to himself, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to make one vine every day until I figure out this media. And so he did, and he's pretty good, right? 
So how many of your kids wake up every morning and say, I'm going to figure out, do this problem every day, I'm going to tackle it every day until I figure it out? And even if they do think that, what do they get from you? A tick? But Zach has an audience of 3.5 million followers who interact with him every single day. So I think we need to start valuing these spaces, rethinking our perception of social media, so we can empower our students to build communities around ideas that matter to make a difference in our world today. Thank you. Cool. Can I